part of that information was the full video uh, of the incident. Uh, they released only a, a snippet of it now that we see the full thing. And um, mm -hmm. of uh, when they shot my brother, killed my brother. Um, I'm going to release that video, and just uh, just clarifying everything with the hard attorneys and making sure you know everything is a go. I'm going to release that uh, because I think that everyone should see it. I think that it will embolden us even more. Mm -hmm. um, difficult part about it is that they shot him within six seconds. Everyone, mostly everyone, seen that video and saw life. What they didn't see is what happened after. And what happened after was um, they stood over him, handcuffed. He was, you can't see his body moving, you know, but, you know, so he's handcuffed. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that they stood over him with the rifles, uh, assault rifles, pointed at him for seven to eight minutes. And he's been killed. Seven to eight minutes. And he shot. No check on his pulse. Just that. No, no EMR. Yeah. Well, shot. No check on his pulse. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Just like this. And at one point, they, both of the two officers, turned their sides and got by, side by one another and held up their rifles, like taking pictures. There was somebody in the background saying, turn around, come yeah. over here. No, Take, move over, get together. together. And they stood together like they were like this, taking pictures. taking pictures. So if <laughs> if they didn't kill him initially, then they're implicit after the fact. They blocked off the road, didn't even allow the ambulance to come in. They had to actually move the patrol car out of the way let the ambulance come in. It was incredibly disturbing to see this yeah. for seven and eight minutes for somebody that could not do anything to you. They it's handcuffed just, him after they shot him. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple times. So I understand now why they didn't release that. But we're going to release it. And, and we're going to use that You know, do you know, did you know that he died on initial impact, or did he bleed out? That is still in discussion. You know, and I think that at the pre-quest, uh, the pre-inquest hearing, a lot of these things were discussed uh, about bringing this out. In that, uh, well, the inquest will be January 30th. Are you going to email send an email? Yeah. Out? Oh, I'm going to I'm going to do more than that. We're going to plan for it big time. Uh, big time. And uh, do you have the names of the two officers? Are they still on the board? Spal yeah, Spalding. Yeah, Spalding, and uh, I forget the other guy's name, but Spalding was the officer that had killed uh, the Native American man three years prior. So he had the history of killing. Right. So we're going to do. The car, the car group? No, 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 not, not John, not John. That's his name. Yeah, not John T. But uh, his name is Jack, the, the Native American. Yeah. And I and I think he, it was uh, said that he had some type of mental issues or something. Yeah. And who said that? Well, Jack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were some um, issues that were confirmed that he had. Not the police officer, the man. Yeah. yeah. The guy that he shot the victim. Oh, the victim shot him, but yeah. not the police officer. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're going to do something extraordinary. I wonder if we could discuss that. Can we discuss that about what we? Yeah, I guess we can. About Maybe what we're going to do. Yeah. Well, no, I think.